YouTube family. Wagwan. What's going on, man? What is up with everybody? It is your boy Jay the Sneaker Guy coming at y'all today with another early look slash review and on feet of the Air Jordan 4 Black Hats. These shoes were set to release on January 25th, but since have been pushed back to a release date of February 1st. So yes, we're about to go over those today, y'all. But before we get into that reviewing on feet, y'all, I would like to welcome y'all. If this is y'all first time stopping through and ask y'all to go ahead and join the family by hitting that subscribe button y'all we are approaching 10k which is amazing man i can't i can't stress it enough that i'm grateful to be where we are we are approaching one year strong man the family is one year strong we are solid man i thank everybody for for the comments the likes the feedbacks go ahead and smash that like button for your boy for hitting y'all with this early look as well as late swap because y'all know we got to swap it out over here man y'all know what, what, the, what the business is but Thank y'all as usual and um, welcome to the family in advance y'all. But as I said, man, we will be talking about the Air Jordan 4 retros. Uh, these haven't released, I believe since 2006. My date might be wrong, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen if, if I am wrong. But yeah, man, this is our first time seeing these retro and, and dope shoes in my opinion. Yes, they are just an all black shoe, but Dope in my opinion, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hope everybody's having a great, blessed, and awesome day. And bam! As you guys see straight off the back, first thing you see is that this is not your ordinary retro Jordan 4 box. And uh, I don't know if it was the, the carry or who got my box kind of dented up, but my box is kind of dented up. But anyways, it does kind of still have that Jordan 4 box as far as your cement print, but instead of it being gray, as you usually do get on, you know, regular Jordan 4 boxes, as you guys can see over here in that corner, I don't know if y'all can see it because it's blurry, but over there you got Jordan 4 boxes, it's gray, this one is black, got your black cement on it, uh, nothing on that side, on this side you do have your black circle as well as your size tag, y'all, so let's take a look at this size tag, it reads Air Jordan 4 Retro, the color block on this one is black, black light graphite okay this is the size nine shout out to the plug man shout out to the plug for getting me straight and um nine men ten and a half women on these these do retail for 190. now i was i would have expected a 200 dollar price point the way jordan brand been busting folks across the head but uh my shoes are already outside the box as y'all seen in the background so we're just gonna take a look at the the box the way it looks just has a regular black box there's no stamps no stickers on the lid and uh, checking out the inside of the box, it does come with black shoe paper. So make sure you get your black glad bag type uh, shoe paper in here. There is no stamps, no stickers, nothing else in the box. You just have some sort of a number here in the corner or whatever that is, code. But there's no quality control or white and green sticker in the box. That does it for the box presentation, y'all. So we're going to get that up out the way. And um, let's get to the goodies, man. Bang! Woo! Yes, so the highly anticipated Air Jordan 4 Black Cats. Looking smooth, man. Very soft to the touch, but we're going to get into all that. Quick 360 as usual. And um, let's dive in, y'all. Starting with the outsole, you have a predominant, well, everything is black. But you have a black outsole with just a splash of white on your jump man right there. But everything else is black. And moving up to the midsole, there is no difference. You do have black going all throughout your midsole, but you do have that gloss black on this half, as you guys can see. And on this in particular pair, you know Jordan 4s, you normally can see your uh, the strokes as you can pause, but you, you can see, you know, the strokes of painting on here. You know, I don't know if the camera's picking it up too well, but you can kind of slightly see it. But you still can see that. There's nothing different on this pair of Jordan 4s. But do got that gloss material on there. It does have that, you know, flatter black in this area. Moving on from that, we got some more black. But uh, on the upper of the shoe, y'all, this is a new buck. And it, it's a very, very soft new buck, man. It's like, uh, just soft, man. That's the best way to put it. Soft new buck on these. And it does not have any type of two-tone motion on it it's a light coat of new buck 
but um yes i see these you know after quite a few wears they're gonna get that that frayed up softened up type look on these that's that's what i see from these just from the way it feels but yes be prepared for this to kind of all fray up all this is going to fray up after you put some time into this shoe but um you got that there looking at the mesh on this shoe same thing black here as well you got your black meshing going across the front the medial and the lateral nothing different y'all you do have your lace holders the waffles which is in a gloss black as y'all can see gloss shiny black everything like i said everything on the shoe is black blacked out only part you don't have black is on the top of your tongue where it says flight you do have a splash of gray hence why mr Swift is in the building but um yes you do have that let's check out this jump man in the back y'all it is another hit of that gloss type of uh you know look you have that on that jump man in the back and uh that's that's it for that black standard laces that come with the shoe no other laces are included with this shoe y'all just black laces but it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of room for ideas man if anybody wants to you know you could put some white laces in there you could put some red laces in there yeah you could put any the it, it's open you got a black base shoe man so y'all could do whatever y'all wearing y'all can go ahead and match it up with these you could throw some green laces in there man you know anything that y'all want to do but just some ideas but moving on past that the back of the tongue you do have your air jordan turn it that way for y'all but you do got air jordan written on the top of the back of the tongue and let's check out the inside of the shoe y'all your shoe tree you do have a standard shoe tree and uh the sizing on it is just a half and half of size so this is the nine through nine and a half looks just like that shoe tree and uh getting that up out the way let me take out the insole i don't normally take out insoles but we're gonna take out the insole of these if they can come out bam insole is out okay this is what your insole looks like you do have your size sticker on there it does have a gray jump man on your insole and uh the back of it just standard doesn't have any numbers nothing on there but that is the insole looking at the inside of the shoe do got your tape and your you know just normal stuff in there if it if it shows but yeah we don't we ain't worried about that but let's check out the size tag if we can get to it checking out the size tag on these bam as you guys can see and it looks like these were manufactured let me see because i can't read backwards but from july through october of last year 2019 can we focus i'm trying to get some focus y'all but yeah there you go that's your size tag that's how that looks three month production on them and um yes yes very 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 plain shoe man nothing you know nothing too spectacular but it's just dope dope clean solid black shoe throw it on with what i got on all black you know what i'm saying like or you could throw it on with with colors or anything you know it's just you can wear this with anything so this is a year round shoe so you know if y'all want an all black pair of air jordans man right here is where you need to go as well as if you know y'all are just jordan four collectors or jordan collectors at all man this is a great uh shoe to add to the collection as far as for all my og heads out there and stuff man because like i said this is the first time this shoe has retro and it was a must cop for me man i um i need this one so y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on these and um let me know what y'all think about them moving the date back uh they actually i think they swapped it out for those air jordan nines and um i should have an early review for you guys so stay tuned for that but uh i think they replaced these for the air jordan nines they trying to make the month of february they trying to they trying to get all the bread in february but like I said, man, y'all let me know, and y'all stay tuned for the On Feet. Thank y'all again. If this is y'all first time stopping through, go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. Trust me, y'all will not be disappointed, but road to 10K, man. 20K for the year. We on the way. Y'all stay blessed. Your boy, Jay, this nigga guy, is checking out. I'm gone, man. Air Jordan 4 Black Cats. Peace.